watching WSBT First at Four. Ryan's Steakhouse in Elkhart closed its doors on Sunday. It's just one of the buffet-style restaurants the area's lost in recent years. But is it part of a larger decline in the industry? Market Basket columnist Lincoln Wright spoke with industry experts about this today, and he's here with us now. So what would you find out, Lincoln? Yeah, so buffet restaurants are having a rough time, Jennifer. I spoke with Technomic, a Chicago firm that analyzes the food service industry, and they have seen a continuing decline with this restaurant segment. They didn't have their 2015 numbers yet, but in 2014, buffets saw a 3.5% decrease in sales, and the number of restaurants in the U.S. fell by almost 4%. And that drop in sales that you're talking about has really hurt these chains. Right. Buffets LLC, uh, Ryan's parent company, is expected to close 166 restaurants across a number of chains it owns by the end of the month. The company just filed for bankruptcy for the third time since 2008. They also own Old Country Buffet, which closed in Mishawaka in 2014. And the franchise owner of our local Ponderosas also closed its Mishawaka location in January because of poor sales. The owner told me the business just isn't what it used to be. Okay, so what is it that's driving sales down? Well, Jennifer, researchers told me it's the increasing demand for healthy options. They said buffets tend to use lower quality ingredients to save on costs, and the all-you-can-eat model encourages overeating. Technomic pointed out that the only restaurant to see gains in the buffet category was Soup Plantation and Sweet Tomatoes, uh, which mainly has locations out west. They boast fresh and healthier options, which Technomic says is a good indicator why it was the only one to do well. Obviously, we're seeing changes there. Interesting in insights there. Lincoln, thanks so much for sharing that. And remember, you can find more retail and restaurant news in his column. That appears Wednesdays and Sundays in the South Bend Tribune and at southbendtribune.com.